Well, the holidays are right around the corner, and that means you're going to be going to several different parties, have several different things that you could maybe eat. But Cherry Turcos is here with us this morning, holistic pharmacist, to tell us a little bit about things we should avoid, how to help out a healthy gut. That's right, because there are a lot of um, ingredients that can be in foods that would surprise you, things such as gluten, corn, food dyes, MSG that can trigger reactions in some people. And we're talking about headaches, skin rash, belly aches. So I brought with yeah. me some licorice. foods. You'd be surprised yeah. that licorice, okay, it's red. Obviously, there's some red food dye in that. However, it also contains wheat, which is a problem for people like myself that have celiac disease and for people that have gluten sensitivity. Also, some candy will mm -hmm. also contain gluten. Uh, powdered cheese as well. Oh, wow. I bought salad dressings and seasoning mixes. These are gluten-free versions. However, for people that have gluten sensitivity, you have to read the labels carefully. Pepperoni sticks can also contain gluten. And MSG? Yes, MSG in these popular snack foods. Oh so for a lot of folks that have migraine headaches, MSG is a trigger. You said that, yeah. yeah there's a relationship be a, between the stomach and, and you having headaches. Absolutely, it's a very strong connection between uh, the gut and the brain. It's like our second brain, the gut, actually. So mm -hmm. if you are having problems with digestion, it, uh, whether it's gluten or MSG or other foods, it can actually trigger headaches, migraines, and so forth. So there's a few new things to talk about. Um, this is a probiotic supplement. Mm -hmm. It's called Glutigest. Okay. And this is for gluten sensitivity. Now, gluten sensitivity affects about 6% of Canadians. They have difficulty digesting gluten. They can have stomach aches. Uh, they can have headaches, skin rash. So we're not talking about celiac disease, the disease state, but gluten sensitivity. If you take one to two capsules of this before a gluten-containing meal and after, the probiotic actually helps to break down those gluten proteins into easier digestible components. Um, so clinical studies have found that that can be very helpful and it does have some health canner to prove claims. Co healthy cookie there for yes, some, some, some fiber. I do. I made these cookies and I'd love for you to try one. So these cookies and also this glass of water contains a fiber supplement and this is a invisible fiber. It's mm -hmm. called sun fiber. And the reason I want to talk about fiber, as we get into party season, we're not getting enough fiber. You get constipated, sluggish, again, headaches, belly aches, you're not feeling well. So this soluble fiber is gluten-free, clear mixing. You can even bake with it. So if you want to try one, I'll or you try can one of those at the end. Uh, we got after. about 30 seconds okay. for healthy snacks too. Yeah, so healthy snacks. So I wanted to um, show some examples of party foods. We all love to nibble on salty right. snacks, but typically they're low in fiber, low in protein. I brought some pea crisps, quinoa chips, and these are baked bean crisps. Right. They're excellent. You can add them to your salsa. You can have these crackers instead of the regular rice crackers. Triple the fiber and the protein. Oh. Almonds and of course, good. almonds, soluble fiber, fill you up. So include these snack foods in some of your party recipes. And yeah, for more information, of course, you can go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca and also to sherrytorcos.com. Thank you very much. And now Thank I you. will. Yes, try one of those. And they're dark I chocolate will. chips. Mm. My, thumb, my son gave them the thumbs up. And Frankie Flowers. <laughs> thumbs up. Approved. Mm.